Rational Developer for System Z presents more database development with DB2 and SQL. In this demo, you'll learn to use Rational Developer for System Z functions designed to work with functions within DB2. DCLGen is a function that produces a SQL declare table statement for COBOL or PL1. It's a data declaration for a table or a view needed when you work with COBOL or PL1 applications that work with DB2. DCLGen creates a copybook or an include file that contains the declarations for the table or view needed within the application. Switch to the data perspective. Right click and connect to the database. Notice that the first time you want to connect, select Connect. Once the database has been defined, simply select Properties. Once you have access to the database, expand the schemas. Locate the table you want to generate a copybook for. These are the menu items available for each table. Select DCL Gen. Select the system name. In this case, one has already been defined to the host. If you have several, they would appear in the drop down menu. Select the DB2 subsystem that you want to work with. The default is DSN7. Typically, you only need to input the system information once, then it will appear as the default the next time you use DCLGen. Next, add the location of your procs. In this example, the procedure above is located in these procs. You also need to add the SDSN exit and SDSN load. Check with your DB2 system administrator if you don't have this information. In order for the job to work, the JCL job card needs to point to these. Click Next. Select the language you prefer to work with, PL1, C, or COBOL. Any one of these options will produce a copybook or an include file for PL1. Select COBOL. You could change the member name. In this case, we'll leave it as is. Notice the error message above. You must create an output data set for the copybook, and in this case, the file does not exist. This was the default copybook that was set up. Browse the data sets to find one to use. Select Next to continue. These are the various ways you can have the data structure defined. Click Finish. You can locate the job if you want or click OK. Switch to the Remote Systems perspective to locate the copybook it created that you can use with your COBOL application. Right click and select Retrieve Dataset to locate the copybook. This is the copybook that it created. Now you can include this with your COBOL application.
from the data perspective, you can generate the SQL that was used to create an existing table. This SQL can then be used to create that exact table elsewhere. Switch to the data perspective. Locate the table you want to create for another schema, host, or database and select Generate DDL. This creates the SQL necessary to create the table and any associated indexes. You can also select the checkbox to create drop statements. Select the model object you want to include in the DDL script, such as primary keys, foreign keys, associated privileges, and other options. You can select all, specify only a few, or deselect all. Click Next to generate the DDL or the SQL. Here's a preview of the SQL script that was created. Remote Systems Temp Files is the default folder. You can change the file name and select a different folder to save it in. From this panel, you can immediately run the DDL on the host or open the file for editing. Click Finish. The editor opens so you can make changes to the file, for example, changing the user IDs. Another DB2 function that you can access from within Rational Developer for System Z is extracting data from one table into a file that you can use for loading data into another table or schema. Locate the table, then select Data Extract. Then save the data into a file that you can load later into another table. The default selection is a comma, but here you can select whatever delimiter you prefer to use between the data. To load data into a different table, right-click on the table and select Data Load. Browse to locate your file and select Finish. This concludes the demo. For more information and demos, click on one of the following links.